Bestbookbits.com presents 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 30, Happiness. Do you want to know how to manifest your dreams? Do you want to know the simple, straightforward, no bullshit path to take your dream out of your head into reality? This 50-chapter video series titled 50 Words to Your Dreams has the answers. Researched for over 10 years and compiled into video, written and audio format for easy consumption, this series will empower you with the know-how and tools you need to manifest your dreams into reality. Created by myself, the founder of bestbookbits.com, this series is a wealth of knowledge condensed down into 50 bite-sized pieces. So without further ado, I bring you chapter 30 of 50 of the series, 50 Words to Your Dreams, Happiness. Happiness, a feeling that everyone wants more of, but a feeling that most people don't get to experience often. Why is that? Why does the majority of society walk around with a frown instead of a smile? Why are people more negative than positive? Pessimistic instead of optimistic? Look around you and notice people desiring internal happiness by chasing external things. Not understanding that true life satisfaction is found within. External things attained will give you a temporary emotion of pleasure, but a very short-lived feeling that eventually fades. Where true happiness is more of a lasting feeling of contentment and joy. A subtle emotion of peace that doesn't disappear after a few days like the addictive temporary pleasure emotion external objects brings that eventually fade and makes us want more. The feeling of peace of mind and joy that true happiness brings us is the real happiness society is chasing. What brings you joy? When was the last time you asked yourself this question? What brings me joy? Really asking yourself this question forces your mind to think about what really brings me joy and happiness in my life. For most people, the answers will be the same, such as money, friends, family, food, sleep, travel, sport, my dog, or my cat. These are all great reasons and very real things that bring us joy and happiness, no doubt. But what is the one or two things in your life that is unique to the standard answers that bring you joy? Can you identify something unique you do in your life that brings you joy? Take note what this is and understand this might be your life's work or the thing you need to be start doing more of to bring more joy into your life. Make a list of the things that give you happiness and joy. Then put it in your bathroom mirror or somewhere you see it every day to remind you to bring more joy into your life. What brings you sadness? As we all have experienced the highs of happiness, we have and will all experience the lows of sadness, such as grief, sorrow, dullness, boredom, and of course, unhappiness. Apart from the obvious reasons that bring us all sadness, which of course is loss, what brings you sadness in your life? What is blocking your happiness and joy? Is it your financial situation, your body and health, your relationship, your friendships, your family, your job, your future, your own thoughts, your bad habits, yourself? Write a list of all the things that are holding you back from happiness and giving you the blues. Now you have identified the source of your unhappiness, ask yourself this question. Is it really the thing on the list or the thought of the thing that is creating your sadness? Is it really the thing on the list or the thought of the thing that is creating your sadness? You can either change the circumstances or you can change your thoughts to bring about happiness in your life. Happiness is a mental game you play with yourself. An internal mind slash brain chemistry slash hardwired neurons slash dopamine dance going on. You are either the creator of your own happiness or the victim of sadness that creeps into your life when you are not creating conditions to bring you joy. Identify what brings you happiness and identify what makes you sad and you are halfway to happiness. Understand ultimately it is your attitude and thoughts that make the final decision to your happiness or sadness. As Victor E. Frankl said, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Behave yourself into happiness. What's stopping you from being happy and experiencing joy in your life right now, right now, this instance? Yes, right now, this very second. What's stopping you? Your thoughts and your habitual behavior is what is stopping you. As discussed earlier, we have the power to create happiness internally by thinking thoughts of happiness. We also have the power to change our behaviors that are causing the unhappiness in our life and choose behaviors that trigger happiness in our life. Look over the life you created earlier on what makes you happy and what makes you sad and start behaving yourself into happiness by doing one thing and not the other. This may seem simplistic and childlike, but don't discount the simplicity of this exercise for its effectiveness. 
behave yourself into happiness, and watch all areas of your life brighten. Quotes on happiness. A happy person is not a person in a certain set of circumstances, but rather a person with a certain set of attitudes. A man who, as a physical being, always turned toward the outside, thinking that his happiness lies outside of him, finally turns inward and discovers that the source is within him. A smile is a curve that sets everything straight. Act happy, feel happy, and be happy, without a reason in the world. As human beings, we all want to be happy and free from misery. We have learned that the key to happiness is inner peace. The greatest obstacle to inner peace are disturbing emotions such as anger and attachment, fear and suspicion, while love and compassion, a sense of universal responsibility, are the sources of peace and happiness. As long as we structure our lives in a way where our happiness is dependent upon something we cannot control, then we will experience pain. Be aware of destination addiction. Be aware of destination addiction. A preoccupation with the idea that happiness is in the next place, the next job, and with the next partner. Until you give up the idea that happiness is somewhere else, it will never be where you are. Be happy in the moment. That's enough. Each moment is all we need, not more. Be happy while you're living, for you're a long time dead. Be happy with what you have while you're working for what you want. So much has been given to me that I have no time to ponder over that which has been denied. Bliss is not happiness. Bliss is not happiness. Happiness is always for a reason. It's a positive thought. When I'm happy for no reason whatsoever, then I'm in bliss. And that comes from going beyond the poles of opposites. Don't wait for everything to be perfect before you decide to enjoy your life. Everyone smiles in the same language. Folks are as usually as happy as they make up their minds to be. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors for you where there were only walls. For 30 days, smile frequently and watch it transform your life. Happiness depends on conditions being perceived as positive. Inner peace does not. Happiness does not depend on outward things, but on the way we see them. Happiness doesn't belong to those who have everything, but to those who can appreciate what they have. Happiness doesn't depend on external conditions. It is governed by mental attitude. Happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you. It can only come from you. Happiness is a quality of the soul, not a function of one's material circumstances. Happiness is the absence of approval seeking. Happiness is the absence of approval seeking. Happiness is an inside job. Don't assign anyone else that much power over your life. Happiness is found in doing, not merely possessing. Happiness is inside you, not with another person. Happiness is not a station you arrive at, but a manner of traveling. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. Happiness is not something you postpone for the future. It is something you design for the present. Happiness is purely internal. It is produced not by objects, but ideas thoughts and attitudes which can be developed and constructed by individuals' own activities, irrespective of the environment. Happiness is the ultimate height towards which every human being is striving. Happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative effort. Happy are those who take life day by day, complain very little, and are thankful for the things in life. How little a thing can make us happy when we feel that we have earned it. I know there is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. I understand that others can give me pleasure, but genuine happiness comes when I do things for others. If happiness is determined by our thoughts, it is necessary to drive off the thoughts which make for depression and discouragement. If you search for happiness, you will find it elusive, but if you try to bring happiness to someone else, it will return to you many times over. It is in the compelling zest of high adventure and of victory and of creative action that man finds his supreme joys. It takes only 13 muscles to smile and 112 muscles to frown. It takes only 13 muscles to smile and 112 muscles to frown. It's not how big the house is, it's how happy the home is. Man, I want happiness. Buddha, first remove I, that's the ego. Then remove want, that's desire. All that remains is happiness. My philosophy for a happy life. Be okay with what you ultimately can't do, because there is so much you can do. Surround yourself with people you want to be around. Keep moving forward. Never miss a party if you can help it. 
Never put the key to your happiness in someone else's pocket. One of the surest ways to find happiness for yourself is to devote your energies towards making someone else happy. Only if you resist what happens, you are at the mercy of what happens, and the world will determine your happiness and unhappiness. People whose first instinct is to smile when they make eye contact with you are some of Earth's treasures and need to be protected. Practice of regular smiling creates a feeling of happiness and goodwill. Practice of regular smiling creates a feeling of happiness and goodwill. Relationships account for 80% of our happiness in life. Research shows that happy people and unhappy people tend to have very similar experiences in life. The difference is perspective. Saying yes to happiness means learning to say no to things and people that stress you out. Smile is the single most powerful force of influence that people have. Some cause happiness wherever they go, others whenever they go. Sometimes your joy is a source of your smile, but sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. Sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. Studies show that the key to happiness is spending your money on experiences rather than possessions. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. The best vitamin to be a happy person is B1. The essence of philosophy is that a man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. The grand essentials to happiness in life are something to do, something to love, and something to hope for. The happiness of one's own heart alone cannot satisfy the soul. One must try to include as necessary to one's own happiness the happiness of others. The key to happiness is not more. Happiness is an art to be studied and practiced. The only keeper of your happiness is you. Stop giving people power to control your smile, your worth, and your attitude. The person born with talent they are meant to use will find their greatest happiness in using it. The value of a smile, it costs nothing, but creates much, and enriches those who receive it without impoverishing those who give. It happens in a flash, and the memory of it sometimes lasts forever. None are so rich they can get along without it, and none are so poor but are richer for its benefits. It creates happiness, yet it cannot be bought, begged, borrowed, or stolen, for it is something that is no earthly good to anybody until it is given away. A smile. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond our power or our will. Those only are happy who have their minds fixed on some object other than their own happiness, on the happiness of others, on the improvement of mankind, even on some art or pursuit, followed not as a means, but as itself as an ideal end, aiming thus at something else, they find happiness by the way. Those who bring sunshine to the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of a candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Happiness never decreases by being shared. We're always looking for reasons in our external circumstances to prove why we shouldn't be happy. What can be added to the happiness of a man who is in health, out of debt, and has a clear conscience? What we call the secret of happiness is no more a secret than our willingness to choose life. When one door of happiness closes, another opens, but often we look so long at the closing door that we do not see the one that has been opened for us. When you learn to accept instead of expect, you have fewer disappointments. Yesterday's joy will become today's sadness, yet today's sadness will grow in tomorrow's joy. Inside me is a wheel, constantly turning from sadness to joy, from exhalation to depression, from happiness to melancholy. And last, you are naturally happy in the absence of the belief that you need something outside yourself to get happy. And that's a wrap on 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 30, Happiness. Let me know your thoughts on Chapter 30 in the comments below. If you liked the video, smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you need some help in achieving your goals and want some free coaching, email myself at coaching at bestbookbits and I'll assist you to help you achieve your goals, vision, desires, and dreams. For hundreds of video, written, and audio book summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com, and stay tuned for Chapter 31 in the series, Communication. Thanks for watching and listening. Hope you got something out of this. Go out there and be happy. Take care. Bye-bye.